We are in week three of the Iceman Coach Mode Dynasty of the 2024 season. And this week, we take on Arizona State. Uh, last week, obviously, huge win for the Bobcats as Tennessee was just never even competitive. Uh, upon reflection, probably the big difference was their quarterback, uh, Butler. He was we, uh, we went in knowing we actually had an advantage at the quarterback position, but we had no idea it was going to be as pronounced on the field as it turned out to be as the Tennessee quarterback threw, I think it was either three or four interceptions. Meanwhile, uh, Felder, our quarterback, had a great day and they could not stop us and they really struggled uh, being able to get anything together on offense and so we walked out of Neyland Stadium with a 63-28 win. This week though we take on Arizona State, the Sun Devils. Obviously a little different challenge. We go from one end of the country to the other traveling out west to take on the um, take on Arizona State. Sun Devils are 1-0. Oh. We'll look at that in a second but first let's look around the country at the top stories. Off on the wrong foot, Washington after making the college football playoff last year, gets destroyed by Tulsa in the opening game as the Hurricanes win 37-6. Uh, big win for Tulsa there. Michigan, meanwhile, beats Notre Dame 37-23, and Notre Dame defending national champions start with two losses uh, this season. They drop down to number 15, obviously. Big win for Michigan. Uh, and then this week, it does not get any easier for Notre Dame. They take on Clemson, who is right now number seven. Uh, they're obviously one of the top programs in college football. Uh, this week, you also have Georgia versus South Carolina. And uh, slight advantage for South Carolina, surprisingly. Um, so that will be an interesting game in the SEC East. Vanderbilt and Ole Miss will uh, also start the SEC season against one another this week as the Rebels are 2-0, ranked number 21. Vanderbilt, number 16, 1-0. Uh, the Mustangs pay for their win. SMU got a win uh, this past week, but they lose Zach Williams, their quarterback. I looked it up. It was like nine weeks he's out, so a tough loss there for SMU. And Oklahoma, the Sooners offense sparked by the fiery Morris. Uh, obviously, Oklahoma, big win there, 42-6 over Central Michigan as the Sooners start the season 1-0. And Coastal Carolina looks like they may be one of our uh, top opponents in the Sun Belt as they crush UTSA, the Sun Belt newcomers, 56 to 10. Not a great way to get started for the Roadrunners in their new conference. So um, those are the top stories. We'll look real quick at the top 25 polls. And we see Oklahoma 1, Alabama 2, Georgia is 3, Florida is 4, Texas A&M 5, South Carolina 6, a, a, a lot of FCS wins in the top 10 this week. Clemson beats FIU to move to number 7. Auburn is number eight. Michigan, after that win over the Irish, is number nine. Purdue beat beat Ohio, and so they are number ten. Arkansas is number eleven. Oregon number twelve. Penn State number thirteen. Uh, Cal number fourteen. Notre Dame falls all the way from eight to fifteen after that loss to Michigan. Vanderbilt beats Fresno State barely. They win by two against the Bulldogs, so they are number sixteen. Miami is up to number seventeen after a win over Miami of Ohio. Is the battle of the Miamis there? Uh, Iowa beats Wyoming, and so they move up to number 18. Minnesota is number 19. Washington, after that, just absolutely crushing loss. They fall from number one all the way down to number 20, probably deservedly so. Uh, 21, Ole Miss. 22, USC, after a win over Western Michigan. Syracuse, 23. Ohio State moves into the top 25 at number 24, and Louisville is number 25. Looking real quick at the Heisman watch, uh, no big surprise, uh, or no big changes, excuse me. Massey is still leads, Toth second, right, third. Uh, Arrington from Alabama has moved up to fourth, and then McGowan drops to fifth, running back from Oklahoma. That's a look at the Heisman watch. Um, we can look real quick at the players. We, we don't usually do this, but uh, I did, and I haven't looked at it yet. I'm kind of interested to see if my guy, uh, Quarterback did not. Coastal Carolina's receiver had a big game. It's hard to argue with that. 232 yards, three touchdowns in that win. But our freshman, John Nolan, uh, he had an interception, a sack, a TFL. So he gets a well-earned player of the week there. Um, well done there for uh, from Nolan. And he is a true freshman, so he's obviously a big get for us. So he already has a player of the week uh, to put up on his um on his mantle and looking around at the top 25 games this week auburn number eight goes at mississippi state northern illinois goes to washington as the huskies try to recover after just what was an embarrassing loss last week 
Uh, Cal uh, goes to Oregon State. San Diego State goes to Purdue. Hawaii at Penn State. Vanderbilt travels to Oxford to take on Ole Miss. Notre Dame heads down to South Carolina to play Clemson. Iowa State and Iowa in the Seahawks series rivalry matchup there. USC will take on Utah. Uh, Buffalo goes to Alabama to take on the Crimson Tide. And Arkansas will host UTSA this week. Uh, Army goes to Minnesota. Colorado will go at Oregon. Uh, Kansas State at Oklahoma. Wildcats uh, got off to a big start last year. Going to try and do that again, but they've got to go to the number one ranked team in the nation uh, there. Uh, Georgia goes to South Carolina. Big matchup there. That's a top seven. That's the college game day matchup uh, for this week. Louisiana Monroe will go to Texas A&M. Utah State travels to Miami. Rice goes to Florida. Old Dominion at Syracuse. So those are your top 25 matchups. For us, let's look real quick at recruiting. Um, I am a little, uh, little concerned, right? I'm not panicking yet, but recruiting is not going as well as I guess I would have hoped. Um, obviously, you know, it's a, I am a two-star program right now. Texas State is, you know, we're not, we're not Oklahoma, who leads for Sanders. We are uh, making a move on Sanders, though, as we look. Um, I had not started going after him at all, but now I am. So I, I feel like I should start gaining on Oklahoma unless they start putting more towards him. But that could be that could be a problem because I do want to sign a quarterback in this class. And if I don't, well, that could be a problem. Um, looking down at tackle, Anthony Simmons, I'm way behind on him, but I, he's another one that I'm going to start recruiting. I've already had to remove a bunch of guys, so those guys are all gone. And as you can see, I'm also kind of... Um, distributing points at this point i i've i don't feel comfortable enough with any of the players that i have on my list that how do i word this i i don't feel comfortable that i i'm guaranteed any of these guys so i'm trying to make sure that i stay high on the list of more players so that um when i inevitably don't get some of these guys i'm going after i still am set up to pursue other players so uh, paul smith is a guy i'm kind of hopeful for he is a three-star, so that'd be a decent get. Um, I'm trying to get now on, on up the list for uh, Jabari Lewis right now. I'm losing 200, but he's another guy that I just started going after, and I'm putting 400 towards him. We'll see how that goes. I do lead for this middle linebacker, Jason Marshall, but as you can see, it's competitive. Um, right now, I am, you know, I'm gaining the most points. Probably Nebraska is not going super heavy after him, but he is a four-star. So if I can get him signed, that'd be a good get for the defense. Um, I leave for Brooks, but I'm not going to start going after him yet. He's only a 61. Instead, I'm going to uh, put more towards Roden, uh, who I feel hopefully we can get. Um, that would be a big help. And then there, you can kind of see where I'm at on some of these other guys. I don't feel like I'm far enough behind, although I should give up on Gerard Marshall, I guess. Uh, well, I could still get him if I put all 700. So, um, so I'm going to leave him on for now. Cody is a guy I'm, uh, Mississippi State's going after, but you know, I, I feel like if I went after him, I could have a chance. Uh, so I'm, and secondary, obviously, is a position of desperate. It's an area of desperate need. Um, Walton, I'm, I'm 1,200 behind on him, but I'm gaining a little bit. So I'm going to keep going, you know, I'm hoping to get a visit and, you know, and then let that boost me. Um, Fontenot is another same kind of situation. Ben Moses I lead for, which is big because uh, he is a 77 four star. Uh, and then I lead for Richardson, who is a uh, three star uh, 70 overall. So, yeah, recruiting like <laughs> obviously there's not like guys in here that yeah, not many that I feel like I am def definitely going to get. These are going to be some battles if I get these guys. So um, what that probably means is I'm only going to get a couple. <laughs> this is just, I've just kind of accepted this as reality. I'm only going to get a, maybe a handful if I'm lucky. So I'm going to have to start looking around um, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, but the good news, I only am losing eight players. I've only got eight seniors in this class. So... So even if I didn't have the best class, it's you know it's not going to be um, a disaster. So um, so that's where we are recruiting. Looking at Arizona State, let's uh, first of all let's let's look at their coach. I don't I've not looked at him yet, so I don't really know much about him at all. Um, they're not a terrible program. Obviously, they're Pac-12, so this is a Power Five school that we're, we're we're going up against. Oh, it's Herm Edwards, of course. Herm Edwards is still at Arizona State. 
Looks like he's had a decent run of sh- things here. He's got a 48-31 record. Um, he is safe, so he's been somewhat successful. We'll take a real quick look at his uh, style. So he runs a pro-style offense uh, with a pro-style playbook. No big surprise there. He's going to run it a little more than he's going to pass, but he is aggressive. Defensively, 4-3 multiple. So that's what we're going to look at um, uh, strategy-wise. Um, looking at the depth chart, we'll go look at the Arizona State depth chart. One thing I will say, I have downloaded the latest update. The latest update of the revamp mod is the version 9, and so that adds like a whole bunch of plays. It changes the play logic. So you might see some of the way these games go. Um, might see it flow a little different um, now. On like one of the one of the big changes is they're not going to be calling halfback screen on third and long. Uh, and ma- as a matter of fact, apparently the way the play logic had been set up is that on third, fourth down, the AI only picked from like thirty plays from their playbook. But now every play is available to them. So third and fourth down will be a little more diverse. Um, we'll be able to just whatever. Which honestly, I never do that anyway. I never try to defend the thirty plays that I think they're going to run. But yeah, it will. It will it'll just add a little more variety when it comes to that time. So looking at their quarterback Moss, he looks like a pocket passer. He's an eighty-four, but their backup uh, Macklemore is going to be a little more uh, apt to run. Look at their arms. Wow, they got pretty good arms. 89, 93, 90, 83. So they're, he, they're going to be able to throw. Um, running back, uh, 73. So they're not strong at running back. Fullback, they, decent fullback, 77, 71. Wow, they've got a good receiving core. This is deep. 96, 94, 92. So when they go three receiver, they have Chad Johnson Jr. I didn't realize that. Um, B. Shelton. Elijah Badger, Chad Johnson. I'm surprised he's still there. I thought we, he would have cycled out by now. Uh, their tight end is their number four receiver, but I mean that's. I mean you look look at that. Those are good. Now they all look, do look like possession receivers, but they do get to top speed quickly. Look at that 99 acceleration. They're very agile. So if they get the ball, they're going to be tough. Uh, tight ends 81, 80. So that's pretty good. Left tackle 73, 89, 76, 88. Right tackle. So they're good at guard. Um, so when they run up the middle, you know, they might be able to get something, but their passing game is going to be, they're going to be the, it's going to be the challenge defensively. Joe Moore is a 94, the right end's a 78 defensive tackle, 86, 73. So Evans is going to be a problem for us. And then the left end Joe Moore, uh, is going to be a problem. Uh, linebackers, uh, they have an 86 and they have a 76 middle linebacker. And 83. So their linebacking core is pretty good, but not great. Um, Cornerbacks, 90, 88, 87. So they're going to be able to cover us. Uh, Free safety, 72. Strong safety, 78. So if we can get into the secondary, we might be all right. Kicker, 75. That's average. Uh, Punter is an 88. So kicking game, we might have a bit of an advantage. Their kick returns, that that could be a problem. They're not super fast, but they do. Again, they get to top speed quick. so that is a look at Arizona State. Let's go ahead, play the game, see if we can start the season 2-0 and with a second win over a Power 5 team. So we look at the statistics here. Obviously, you know, not much of a not much, uh, sample size to draw from, not a lot of data. Uh, as you look at the two different... I mean, obviously, we both had very successful first games. Um, we won by 35. They won by 38. They had almost 600 yards of offense, 334 in the air. Um, so, and defensively, they held their opponent to 182. We struggled a little bit, a little bit defensively. The big thing for us was turnovers. So, uh, we'll see if Arizona State can give us more of a challenge than Tennessee. Look at the top players. Their top players, their receivers, obviously, Badger and Shelton, two very good players. And then their defensive end, Joe Moore. Um, our top players, Bailey, the cornerback, Ben Felder, our quarterback, and then Dukes, the punter. So here we go. It is 1-0 Arizona State at home. Sun Devil Stadium taking on Texas State. Texas State is coming off of an epic season where they finished number four. The big complaint about their their season last year was the lack of a strength of schedule. So this year, they have really ramped it up. And this is part of that effort to play some more challenging opponents as we look at the offensive ranks. Way too early in the season to take much of that into account. But can Texas State 
prove that they belong in the discussion of being a top 25 team. Arizona State, uh, you know, there have been some classic players come from there. You got Jake Palmer. Um, Texas State, meanwhile, trying to put their name uh, in the uh, in the annals of college football history. Uh, this would be a big win for them. Uh, probably would push, would pump them into the top 25. Uh, Arizona State, obviously, also trying to uh, trying to establish themselves near the top of the Pac-12. If they can um, get a win today against a respectable Texas State and get into the Pac-12 season, who knows? Maybe they could find themselves into the co- in the college football playoff. So into the end zone, it will be down for a touchback as we look at B. Shelton, impact player, receiver. Last week, nine catchers, 131 yards, two touchdowns. So from the gun here is Arizona State. They've got three receivers to the right. He's got a tight end on his left. He makes an adjustment. He's back to throw. He looks, rolling, moving around the pocket. It's complete, but he will be short. That's Elijah Badger. He picks up nine yards, but it'll still be fourth down. This time, Felder's got two backs, two receivers to his left. He fakes the handoff. He's in a little trouble. Throws it to his left. It is complete. That is, who is that? That's Josh Hall. Used to be Dylan Jantz, but Josh Hall took his number four. And there he makes a big 17-yard catch for the first down for Texas State. Empty backfield for the Bobcats. Felder back to throw. He's in trouble. He will be sacked. Loses 12 yards. It was a screen play, and Arizona State had it pretty well covered, apparently. And so Felder has to just take the sack. From the gun here. Snap, and it's a play action. He throws to his right. It's complete, but Gould will be short. Texas State comes up big on third down. It'll be fourth down. So on second 11 in midfield, Felder, he'll take the snap. He is going to try and run for it. He'll get close to the first down. They're going to give it to him. Ben Felder with an 11-yard run will make it first and 10. Felder here with two receivers to each side on this play. He'll take the snap. Across the middle, that's complete. Uh, who is that? 81, that is McDowell. 10 yards, first down for Texas State. Third and 12 from about the 13. They could actually get a first down here. Felder acts like he's gonna run, but drops back, throws to the corner, and oh, he had it, kind of. It was well covered. Pass is deflected, so it'll be fourth down. So Duke's on here to attempt his first field goal of the season. The kick is up. It's a 30-yard attempt, and he got it. So Texas State will go up 3 to nothing here on Arizona State. As we look at Iowa State, the Cyclones have upset the Hawkeyes. Big win there for Iowa State. 39 from the gun is Moss. He's got two receivers and a tight end to his left. He is back to throw. And it's complete across the middle. And that is Shelton. LVB Shelton gets 26 yards. High formation here, two receivers to the right. Moss hands it off to Jones. Jones gets through the hole. He'll have the first down and more. He gets 16 yards on that carries. Moss from the eye again, two receivers to his right. Hands off, this time Jones will go left. He gets through the hole up the middle and gets 10 yards on the carries. First down, hand off to Jones again up the middle. He will have 13 yards on that carry and Arizona State from the eye this time. Hand off. Jones is, he was, uh, he drug a defender across the goal line and Arizona State goes up six to three with the extra point coming. And we'll see if the Arizona State defense can stop the Bobcats again. Felder here, three receivers to his left. He'll take the snap. Throws to his left, he throws long, and it's intercepted. Picked off. And now they're going the other way. This could be, this will give Arizona State the first down at the 35 as Felder, that's a bad pick to Lee there. Threw it into coverage and paid for it. So here comes Moss. He's in the I formation. He's got two receivers to his left. He'll take the snap, back to throw, goes long. He's got a man. That is a touchdown to Elijah Badger. 35 yards at Arizona State. Right after getting the turnover, they go for the end zone immediately and connect. And Arizona State now up 13-3 with the extra point coming. Empty backfield for Felder here. He'll take the snap. And he's going to run. He will get the first down after picking up about 11 yards, 12 yards. 
And that will be the end of the first quarter. Arizona State, after falling behind, quickly got things going. And they have uh, taken a two-score lead now as we have at the end of the first quarter. Texas State has the ball, but they've got some work to do to get back into this thing. So here's Felder again. Two receivers to the left, two backs. Look at the throw. Across the middle, and it's dropped. That was just straight up dropped by Josh Hall, the true freshman. So it'll be fourth down for Texas State. From the eye again is Moss. Hand on, or no, it's a play action. He goes to his left. That's complete. Had a wide open receiver. That was LB, uh, LVB Shelton, 17 yards. So here's Moss with three receivers to his right. He's going to throw. He throws to his left, and oh, it was dropped. James Johnson, who was a defensive end, dropped him off into coverage. Felder, three receivers to his right, third and 11. Back to throw. He's in trouble. He's going long, and he's got a man. Miller gets a foot down. That's a first down, 36-yard reception, and that quiets the Arizona State crowd, at least for the time being. Miller just running a corner route and found a hole in the zone. Third and six, three to the left. Felder back to throw. ASU blitzes, cross the middle. Oh, it was dropped. He had the man, and the receiver drops it. So that'll be fourth down. Duke's on for a second field goal attempt. He's already made a 30-yarder. This will be about a 36, and it's good. So Texas State gets within eight on the kick. Good solid kick. Looks like it's right down the middle. Same formation for Moss. Handoff this time to Jay to Jones, and he will have the first down. He gets 13 yards on that carry. Big run. And this time, handoff to Jones. will go up the middle. Big gain there. He goes right through the hole. Picks up 14 on that carry. And Arizona State gashing the Bobcat defense. Moss again. Takes the snap. He's back to throw again. Sets up, throws right across the middle. That's complete. Shelton for tw picks up 12 yards. And Arizona State again on the move from the gun. Moss this time. Takes a snap. Handoff up the middle, but it goes nowhere. So that will be fourth down. Tex or Arizona State will have to decide if they want to go for this or punt it. And Jones is out for the game. The Arizona State running back. With their kicker on here to try to push the lead back to 11. And he does. So it's 17 to 6. Look at the Pacific Life game summary here. Arizona State, obviously, they've doubled up in yards and have an 11 point lead here in the second quarter. Second and nine for Felder here. Three receivers to his right. He takes the snap. Back to throw. Across the middle. It's complete to Miller. That will be 13 yards. That'll be a first down for the Bobcats. So from the 45 here, Felder, empty backfield, takes the snap. Throws it uh, to his left. It's complete. That's Jacob Horn with the catch. So it'll be fourth down. Decision time for Texas State. From the gun again. Tight end in motion from right to left. Moss back to throw. Third and four. 18 seconds to go in the, in the quarter. He is going to get sacked. Texas State calls a timeout. They're going to try and make something happen here with what little time they'll have. And that is halftime. So Arizona State... Definitely took control of things and uh, right at the end of the first quarter after giving up a field goal, they get two quick touchdown drives and that is kind of where we stand right now. Things have kind of settled down. Uh, both offenses kind of stalling a little bit, but right now Arizona State with a 17 to 6 lead, they're in control of the game, but it's not out of reach yet. Uh, Texas State will get the ball to start the second half. So we look at some of the highlights here. Felder's pick, uh, which ended kind of a drive, and then immediately Badger with a big touchdown catch there. Miller's catch right on the sideline, getting a foot down. Felder there on fourth down, throwing that ball away. Um, Miller there with a the catch right at the end of the half. And uh, Arizona State uh, is in control, and they um, got to say they've been the better team so far. Obviously, the running game is the big difference. Um, they have outgained the Bobcats by 64 yards. And while Texas State's not really a running team, when they have tried to run the ball, it has been shut down. Uh, and also, Arizona's passing game has been very efficient. Moss has been very good when he's thrown the ball. So, Arizona State's right now, everything's going pretty much according to plan. So, can Texas State get it turned around? I guess we'll find out here in the second half. Third and six. Two backs, two receivers to Felder's left. He's looking to throw. 
To his right, he gets it to James, who gets off a couple tackles and will get the first down. That is a big conversion for this Texas State offense as they now will have a first and 10 at the 33. Second and four for Felder. Again, three to his left. Play action. Throws it to his left to James, who will get the first down. And a rare appearance by the tight end in the Texas State offense here. They're now at first and goal at the six. Felder is back to throw. He's in some trouble. He is sacked and fumbles. And Arizona State has it. Uh, that was almost certainly a fumble. I don't think he was down. Yeah, it was out before he before he was even close to being down. That's uh, that ends a promising drive. So from the gun is Moss now as another big turnover for Arizona State stops a Texas State drive. That Texas State was looking to get this thing back down to a one score game. Moss across the middle, it's complete. Badger's leveled after he makes the catch, but he hangs on for 14 yards. From the gun this time with two backs is Moss across the middle. It's complete, but Rudy Young is leveled after making the catch. He will be three yards short. It'll be fourth down. Felder, two receivers to each side. Back lead, uh, goes in motion. He's looking to throw, and it's intercepted. And Arizona State with a third turnover of the game. Felder was under pressure, tried to force a throw, and looks like Taylor of Arizona State makes the interception. And that will give the Sun Devils the ball in good field position. Moss this time with a bunch to his right. He will drop the throw long in. He's got a man in the end zone. That's a touchdown. Arizona State will go up 24 to six after the extra point. And looked like Bailey just kind of lost his man out there. Just let him get in behind. And that will put Arizona State up by three scores. Empty backfield for Felder here. He'll take the snap. Looks to throw. He's going long. Oh, and McDowell with a nice diving catch. That will be a 32-yard reception. It will give Texas State a first down in ASU territory. Felder here as Arizona State shows safety blitz. He is back to throw. And he gets it to Carter out of the backfield. Carter will have the first down down to the Arizona State 6 or 7-ish yard line. First and goal at the seven for Felder. He's got two backs, two receivers to his left. He is back to throw. He's in trouble. Across the middle. It is complete. Danny McDowell with the touchdown. Very good play by uh, Felder and the receiver here as he just had enough of a step on his defender to be able to make that catch, and Felder put it where he had to. So Moss here, uh, ace formation with two receivers to his left. He will hand it off, and this is Henry. Henry gets some great blocking by the line, and he'll get a huge 35-yard run there for Arizona State. And Moss here, quick throw, and ooh, it's a fumble, and it is picked up by Texas State. And this is, I think that's James Johnson. He is rumbling to the end zone, and it is a touch. It was a quick screen. And it was a backward lateral. The receiver drops it. And as he's hit, that's a running back, I guess. And Johnson picks it up and takes it into the end zone. And Texas State is in this game. They will now try to make this a four-point game, maybe three. They're going to review it. They're going to see if he was down. And he may have been. They could reverse this. This would be devastating. This would have been a huge play for us, but it looks like he was down and then the ball came out. After review the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Oh, that's that sucks. Oh, that sucks, but it's the right call. So Moss here has two receivers to each side, one in the backfield from the gun. He's back to throw. He's looking. He's going long to his left, and it's batted away. Incomplete. Fourth and nine again. They're going to go for it. This is kind of the no man's land for Arizona State. They have a chance to really kind of put this game away. Moss in a little trouble. He throws it long. It's No, it's dropped. It's dropped, but there's a penalty. It's going to be roughing the passer. Oh, and Arizona State will have the first down. That, oh, this drive, this drive. Still first down. And Moss here is sacked! 
He is dropped. He loses four yards as the Texas State defense got great penetration and knock him down before he can even think about who to throw that ball to. So it'll be fourth down. So here goes Arizona State to kick a field goal. This is important because Texas State will only be two touchdowns down instead of uh, what would have been 18 points. So here we go to the fourth quarter. Arizona State, they had a chance to really kind of put this game away. But Texas State defense, after a couple bad breaks, uh, gets a stop. So it is only a two-touchdown game. Texas State still has a shot, but they're going to need to get something out of this drive. Third and nine for Felder. Arizona State blitzes. He gets it away, and it's complete to Frank Dixon for 16 yards. He kind of forced that pass, but he threaded the needle and with a huge conversion right there. Yeah, right, right in the spot where it had to be. Empty backfield for Felder here on third and three. He'll take the snap. He's going long. He got overthrew his man. They had him. That'll make it fourth down. Texas State is going for this. Felder is back to throw. To his left, it's complete. Simple little dump pass to Melvin Parrish, but he gets the first down. That'll make it first and ten. Third and six. Felder has three receivers to his left. Right about the 28. Fakes the handoff. He throws. It's complete to McDowell. Down inside the five. At about the two. 26-yard reception. That'll give Texas State first and goal at the two. Right here is Felder again. Handoff up the middle. And it is a touchdown for Keith Mitchell. That will make it 27 to 19. Extra point coming to make it 27 20 for the Bobcats. Very important drive right here. Texas State, if they can get a stop, they'll get the ball with a chance to tie. Meanwhile, Arizona State could possibly put the game away. Handoff. Oh, he is gone. Oh, he stumbled. Henry stumbled, or else that would have been a touchdown. Two receivers to each side for Moss here. He is back to throw. To his left, it's come. No, it's dropped. He had a man, but he dropped it. It's fourth down. The Bobcats will get the ball with a chance to tie. So we look at the Pacific Life game summary. Texas State is back into this game. They are one touchdown away from tying it up. Felder here, two backs, two receivers to his left. Fakes the handoff, throws the wheel route out to Mitchell, and he gets 11 yards at the 30-yard line. Texas State on the move. First and 10 here at the 30. Felder. Handoff to Mitchell. Up the middle. Big gain. 13 yards on the carry. It's a first down for the Bobcats. Felder here. Three receivers to his right. One to his left. It's Texas State inside the 20 now. The chance to tie this game. Felder moves to the right. Across the middle, it's complete. It's a touchdown to Craig Miller. And Texas State will bring on the extra point team to try and tie this game. Miller was wide open in the middle of the field. Easy catch. He only had five yards to go to get to the end zone and tie this thing up. As we see, it is now a tie ball game. They have uh, kind of flipped the script. They now have outgained Arizona State by 85 yards. They've got 12 more first downs. Moss again here. From under center. He is back to throw. To his left, it's complete. And that is Shelton for 10 yards. And this time, it's play action. Moss across the middle, it's complete, and that'll be a first down. Rodney Gould picks up 10 yards. From the gun this time, Moss sends a tight end from his left to his right. He is back to throw. He's in trouble, he's sacked. Eight yard loss, Texas State will take a timeout. So a big field goal. This will be a 46-yard attempt for the Arizona State kicker. He's mediocre. The kick is up. It's no good. No good. Texas State will now have the ball with a chance to drive down the field and steal this game. Here come the Bobcats. First and 10 at the 29. Felder, across the middle. It's complete to Jacob Horn. That's a first down. That's 11 yards. Felder again, two receivers to each side, one back. Acts like he's going to run, but he drops the throw. And it's complete to Miller for 19 yards into Arizona State territory. Down. 
from the 41 here. Felder's got three receivers to his right. He drops the throw. To his left. It's complete. Felder here again. Three receivers to the left from about the 36. He's back to throw. He's going to run. And he will get the first down. Oh, but he's hurt. Felder is hurt. This could be bad news. Burns is it at quarterback. He takes the snap, though. Hands it off right up the middle. Felder being injured affects everything. Burns hands it off up the middle, and it gets nowhere. Brian Hart dropped. That's going to be third and eight. Arizona State going to try to ice the kicker. So Arizona State has iced the kicker. We're going to see if... Dukes can make this kick. This is the for the game. Three seconds to go. The snap, the kick is up. It's good. Texas State shocks Arizona State. They were down 24 to 6. They go on a 24 to 3 run to close out the game and to leave Sun Delt State Sun Sun Devil Stadium with a shocking victory over a Pac-12 opponent. What a win for the Bobcats as we look at the offensive production. Shelton for Arizona State had 98 yards. He had a touchdown. But big win for Texas State. Big win as they made the plays they had to make. Uh, They overcame uh, three pretty bad turnovers. Arizona State had plenty of chances to kind of shut the door on this thing. They missed their chance for a game-winning field goal. Texas State brings it down the field. They make theirs. And the difference was uh, probably was Texas State's ability to kind of limit the Arizona State running game. They forced Arizona State into some situations where they had to throw the ball. And they, and, and they did it enough where Arizona State couldn't get enough yards for the first down on the pass. Um, They completed some, but Texas State, their offense, it took them a while. They had to keep, they they started slow, had to work through some problems. Obviously, they had turnovers. Once they corrected those, uh, Felder settled in, made the plays he had to make, and he outplayed Moss today. We look at the team stats here. Uh, score 30 points. We had 30 first downs to their 18. Um, definitely, yeah, in the second half, we pretty much um, bottled up the Arizona State offense. Um, we had only had 69 yards rushing, so, you know, the running game was not uh, efficient. It was not as effective as, you know, we kind of would have liked for it to be. Um, but we did enough. Um, Felder was, you know, he started slow, but he pulled it together, made some big plays, big plays, and had 380 yards passing. Um, 7 of 14 on third down. Meanwhile, look at Arizona State. That was the difference. I told you guys that they weren't they weren't getting enough on first and second down, and so third third down uh, became a problem for them, and they only converted three. Uh, they did have one fourth down conversion, but that. Uh, I won fourth down conversion. Sorry. So that, you know, that was that was the difference. It was their third down convert. They couldn't convert on third down. And had they been able to do that, they would have been able to put us away. But they just couldn't. We kept hanging around and making plays and sort of slowly clawed our way back in. Um, penalties were kind of big today. There, there you know, weren't like a lot of penalties, but there was, they were timed poorly for both teams at different times. Uh, time of possession was about even. So... Yeah, very exciting game. As we go look at the player stats, uh, Felder, 37 of 61, 380 yards. 380 yards. He had the two picks, but also had two very important touchdowns. He took three sacks, but he also had some very important runs that uh, kept drives going. So, um, yeah, he uh, actually led the team in carries. <laughs> Philip James, though, 15 yards on seven carries. Mitchell, 28 on, on five. Hart had 10 yards on four carries. Mitchell had the one rushing touchdown today. Miller, what a day. Nine catches, 140 yards. He averaged 15.5 per reception. He did have a drop. 
Uh, Josh Hall, uh, who is a uh, JUCO transfer, you know, this is his first season with us. He made six catches for 46 yards, but he had two drops. Philip James, five catches, 21 yards. McDowell, 75 yards on four catches. Would like to have gotten Horn more involved. I called some plays where I kind of hoped that Felder would get in the ball, but for whatever reason, we just didn't. Uh, so Horn, not as big a day as we would have liked. Uh, we look at blocking. James uh, had one pancake. Fritz had one. Uh, Fine and James though each gave up sacks. Uh, defensively, Nixon led the team in tackles today with 12. Uh, TFLs goes to Nolan. John Nolan. He's just he's he's kind of been active. He's a true freshman, but he's been making plays. Um, he also had a sack uh, as we had four different players with sacks. Uh, Powell, Cunningham, Nolan, and then Greer. Um, no interceptions. We had should have had the pump force, but that I guess they called him down. So uh, deflections. We have any deflections? Yeah, Johnson had one, and Remsor had one. Uh, kicking Dukes. <laughs> Dukes, the game winner. Uh, he had ice water running through his veins as they tried to freeze him out, but he made that huge kick. Um, he had a 46 yarder. Uh, was that the game winner? I think it was actually. So, yeah, that was big. Um, obviously, it won the game. Uh, punting, Dukes, he uh, also had a couple punts. Um, 50.5 average is good. 31.5 net is okay. Uh, kick returns, Bailey, you know, not, not a great day for Bailey. Um, but, you know, we got the win, and that's what matters. So that is huge. What an, ex- what an intense game. Honestly, it wasn't really, it, did, it wasn't really intense until we got into the fourth quarter and got back into the game. Arizona State, we, I kept waiting for them to score and move the ball and make things happen, but they just never did. And that allowed us to sort of claw our way back in and make a game out of one that probably shouldn't have been one. So big win for the Bobcats. Uh, make sure you tune in to the next episode. We'll be, we'll be hosting Texas A&M in-state rival to see if we can get a third win against a Power 5 opponent. This is Ball Force One. I'll see you guys next time.